We start with another impact in this pandemic as tonight nurses across the health care system are speaking out about the need for more nurses. Elise Haas talked with nurses and leaders at Providence to find out what this also means for the future of patients care. After a grueling past couple of years, nurses throughout the Providence health care system are sounding the alarm about the shortage of staff as they're struggling to care for patients and themselves. Asking nurses to work for 16 hours straight sometimes with only enough time during their shift to eat a bite as they're running from patient to patient, typically not getting an actual real break. Nurses say this increased stress from strained staffing has taken an emotional toll. All being pushed to hurry up by management, do more with less, same amount of time, you gotta see two or three more patients a day, go, 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 okay? That is a recipe for medical mistakes to be made. Leaders at Providence acknowledged the need to hire, saying pre-pandemic, they had 220 nurse openings across their eight hospitals. Today, that number has risen to 425. Staffing is a, is a challenge. We're taking care of more patients now than, than historically we have. We've had people out um, ill, unfortunately. Providence St. Vincent says they're offering their nurses a 9% pay increase in the first year alone. That they're compensating nurses for working overtime and continuing their efforts to recruit. We want to work towards an agreeable situation for both parties. The nurses at Providence say the staffing shortage didn't start with COVID, but that this crisis has been years in the making. Again, that's our Elise Haas reporting there and nurses at Providence St. Vincent are the only ones right now in contract negotiations fighting for those staffing changes. But for more Providence hospitals, contracts will be up for negotiations between now and the end of this year.